This question looks so simple at first glance, but as we start solving, you'll see how tricky it actually is. We have a triangle whose this angle is 45 degrees and this length is 5 units. Now when we draw a perpendicular line from this vertex to this side of the triangle, we get this side length as 2 and this is 3. If the length of this perpendicular line is x, our job is to find the value of x. So, can you solve it? Okay, first, consider this right triangle. Let this hypotenuse be of length a. So, we get a square equals x square plus 2 square or 4. So, a equals square root of this. Now consider this right triangle. Let this hypotenuse be of length b. So, we get b square equals x square plus 3 square or 9. So, b equals the square root of this. Now, what will be the area of this big triangle? It will be base times height over 2, right? So, it will be this base, which is 5 times height, or x. Now, here comes the real magic. Also, when we have a triangle whose this side is a and this side is b, and if this angle is c, then the area of that triangle is given by half times a times b times sine of angle c. Substitute a and b from here and put c as 45 degrees to get the area of this triangle as this. We have sine 45 equals 1 over root 2, so put it here. Great! Since both of them are equal to the area of this triangle, therefore equate them to get this. First, cancel out this 2 from both sides, and then take root 2 this side like this. Now, square both sides to remove this square root. We get x square plus 4 times x square plus 9 equals square. Of this will be 25 times 2 x square, or 50 x square. Expand this to get x to the 4th power plus 9 x squared plus 4 x squared plus 36 or x to the fourth power plus 13. x squared plus 36 equals 50 x squared. Now, take 50 x squared this side, x to the fourth minus. This will become 37 x squared plus 36 equals zero. Write this minus 37 x squared as minus x squared minus 36 x squared. Then take x squared, common from here, and this will become x square times x square minus 1. Now, take minus 36 common from here to get minus 36 times x square minus 1. So this equation will have factors as x square minus 1 times x square minus 36. This gives x square equals 1 and x square equals 36. So this gives x equals plus minus 1 and this gives x equals plus minus 6. But x cannot be negative because it is the side length of this triangle, and therefore x equals either 1 or 6. But out of these two values, x equals 6 is the correct answer, and we have to reject x equals 1. Can you let me know why in the comments? Hint is to use Euclid's theorem, which is this. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So good.